You can't win them all. What's going on team? It's Ricky here with Tech and Solutions. Hope that you guys are all having an amazing Thursday. So I've been coming off of this really hot green streak, right? It's not even since last week, but the week prior Friday, I've been doing very, very well. Today, I lost $5,000. I want to show you my SQQQ position. I didn't take one. I left myself with my one lucky share. I was shorting the market, you know, for the past couple of days. And although I've been talking about like, you know, hey, the market's bound to sell off, you know, I, I think we called it out pretty well. Um, when looking at the one hour time frame, right, it was literally a textbook setup where uh, it's an ascending uptrend pattern. It's making higher lows and higher highs. And when it becomes overbought, there was no signs of progress for the past four days. It tends to pull on back and it makes sense to the moving average, right? I mean, it's literally done this. It's not like, oh my God, we're predicting something it's never done. No, right? It's overbought and it tends to pull back to the moving average. And um, I was just on the wrong side of the trade. I have no excuse for um, my mistakes today. I, I started off in the green. So during my live trading session with the LPP team, uh, I took a couple good trades. I started light. I was in the green. Um, I think I was up like 2.5K, something like that. Um, and I ended in the red. Uh, it's just, um, you know, I, I've, I've I just made a, a ton of mistakes today uh, trading against the overall market. Uh, it was obvious. It was very easy to see. You know, um, not even just on the one minute, but on the five minute. Um, literally a beautiful descending pattern, right? And anything that, anytime that something like this is selling off, um, you know, SQQQ rises. And if you actually pay attention, I think it was a six or seven percent move in a perfect world from overall lows to overall highs. Nine percent move. Look at that. A nine percent move is what SQQQ offered to you in a perfect world. Obviously, I'm not perfect. So even if I would have caught like, you know, out of the 9%, maybe even half of that 4.5%, um, I would have been very happy with it. But um, I didn't. I, I Just like I've said many times before, I always show you both sides of my trades of SQs and TQs. I've been killing it for the, you know, all of last week, uh, all of this week, except for today. And then the week prior uh, on Friday, I was on this really hot green streak where it was almost like, hard for me to like take a wrong trade and when i would take a wrong trade my position size was so beautiful uh today kind of just sucked um i yeah was just trading against the overall market the market was very very bearish today um and i just did not give up on that tq's trade and it happens right it's just the idea of like trading against the overall market direction um and i say it all the time i'm not perfect uh but i'm very happy that at least in advance right uh we talked about this you can watch all of my videos that i've been uploading ever since qqq reached overbought levels right if i'm not mistaken you know jerome powell spoke originally the market sold off and then it began to recover once again uh, and then we pulled back yesterday and then we tested the same resistance level there was no signs of progress and again, it's just such a little silly mistake where I could have just accepted that, hey, you know, market is going to be uh, begin to pull on back. Um, so now what I'm looking at very quickly, just so you guys have a summary of what's going on. Tomorrow's going to be Friday. Fridays are normally a little bit slower days. The thing that I would really look out for is on this one hour time frame for QQQ or the NASDAQ market. Um, I would see if we actually begin to break below the moving average. So on the four hour time frame, if I'm not mistaken, we are testing the support already at the EMA. So we're at a critical point. Uh, the reason I say this is because if we do break below this moving average, it's something that we haven't done since we started this uptrend rally since January 6th. So if we do break below this, more selling pressure will most likely follow and we'll continue to retrace back to 290, then from 290 to 280, from 280 to 270, and so on and so forth, right? The previous support level is all the way down here, boop, 260. So if we do break below this moving average tomorrow, I will shift my attention from going long on the market to going short, right? Shorting the market, making money as the market sells off. Now, if we establish signs of a support level and then it begins to recover, just be aware of that resistance level we have right around 310 to 315 that we've continuously been rejected, um, you know, for the past, really just this past trading week. So wanted to update you guys on my overall trade. I uh, wanted to share with you guys the red day. If you had a red day, you know, you're definitely not alone. <clears throat> Google has been fueling a lot of this sell-off uh, with its new AI. Today it lost 4%. I think yesterday it lost 8 or 9%. I think it cost Google so far in market cap valuation about $100 billion. Um, so yeah, I just, I wanted you guys to understand 
uh, and know where I see the market currently at. And I see it at a potential support level based off of previous patterns. But if we break below the moving average, then I'm going short. If we hold above the moving average and begin to indicate signs of reversal, then I'm going long. And again, uh, I'll make sure I follow up uh, tomorrow during our live trading session with the LPP team. So I really do appreciate you guys' time. Hope that I earned a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And for a reminder, green days or red days, it doesn't matter. I trade live every single day with our Learn Plan Profit Group. Not only do they, do they get to see my entries and my exits, but most importantly, they get to see and hear my thought process, right? Uh, of what leads to my entries, what leads to the you know cutting of losses on a specific trade. If you're tired of guessing and you're ready to start learning, again, I do this every single day. It's a one-time payment, lifetime access. And if you want to watch me trade live every day and you're a complete beginner, click the second link down below, learn more about our OPP team and see if it's a good fit for you. We're running our biggest sale. It's $150 off and it's the second link down below. I really do appreciate you guys' time. Again, don't forget to pick up your trading mouse pads at shoptechbuds.com or the fourth link down below. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me via Instagram or Discord, and that's that first or third link in the description. I am using the Webull trading application. It's free for everyone in the US. And if you use the fifth link in the description down below, not only can you earn up to 12 free stocks when you deposit $1, but I also get one free stock. So it's a win-win for both of us. I appreciate your time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.